So it's time to talk about the crisis with dubbing, the crisis with Funimation, and the crisis with Jamie Markey. Now, of course, we all know who Jamie Markey is. She's a key player in this uh, Kick Vic movement. And uh, a lot of people might not know this other key fact I'm going to give you, but she's also in the head of dubbing at Funimation, which means she takes liberties with improperly translating the content from the original language and writing in her own dub lines which supports her feminist SJW ideals. This is not something that I'm making up. This has also been proven and it's substantiated with evidence from shows like Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and My Girlfriend's a Gal where she took and put a super feminist SJW language in there like you know down with the patriarchy blah 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 stuff like that um, and I just hate personally I'm gonna hit you with this I hate politics in my entertainment entertainment I feel is like the realm where we come to get away from things like politics because it's part of the problem with our everyday hustle and bustle so when I get politics in my show it, it's, it instantly ruins any entertainment value that the show could give and Jamie Markey has just been like trying to subliminally message younger individuals by putting her SJW feminist rhetoric in our shows, which is very creepy and very corrupt. Again, this has been proven. This has been substantiated by with evidence. And I just feel like the way that we can combat this is by reaching out to our brothers and sisters over in Japan because they're aware of the problems that's over here in the West. They're aware of the feminist problem, the SJW problem. And let me get it like this. I don't have a problem with the right kind of feminism. When you want to be treated equally, that means you don't only get the benefits, but you get the problems of the other gender, then I can understand that kind of feminism. I believe they call that what, like first wave feminism or something? I don't know, I don't know the different, it's like the different levels of Super Saiyan, it's too many of them to keep track. But I guess they call that equalism or equalist. I, I have no problem with people wanting to be treated equally. That's not the problem, but you get crazy individuals like Jamie Markey who come up and they they want to ca basically castrate men. They hate men so much. She wants their heads. She wants their balls. They want like I don't like that. And I can almost kick myself forever. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I used to like her as the voice actress for uh, Rias Grimmery when I didn't know that she was an insane lunatic. But I'm just in my mind. Every time I see the credits for High School DXD, I'm just inserting not jamie markey in the credits you know as the role of rias grimmery but we again we need to stay on course and we need to contact the individuals over in japan and let them know our grievances we need to let them know our problems over here so that they can pull their shows and pull their content from funimation i feel like that's the the plan that i have going and i'm gonna call this the zero sjw's plan I'm tired of people like Jamie Markey ruining our content, ruining our shows, putting their ideologies in our shows to try to brainwash the younger, you know, not as quick individuals who don't pick up on that sort of thing happening to them. It, it, it's a problem and it's a problem that we need to check fast. And the only way that we can check it is by going to the original creators over in Japan, messaging them, emailing them telling them what's going on providing proof if we have to you know get some of our friends that understand japanese to help translate our letters and our emails for us then we need to do it but we need to make a move now and hopefully when vic mignana wins his case we can also win our case and get our shows pulled and hopefully we can get them put to another dubbing house or we just can rest assured in the fact that they won't be marred or misrepresented in the west if we have to watch them subtitled it's just i i hate that's one of the things i hate about this whole situation is that is revealing the corruption that I didn't know was there. I mean, it's a good thing that we're getting this corruption revealed, but it's becoming vastly apparent that the, the brand that we su used to support in Funimation was a corrupt brand and we were just too blind to see it. So I hope you guys follow the Zero SJW's plan. Again, contact your favorite shows. It's not just about Dragon Ball. 
We're talking about if Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid comes back for a season two, we need to make sure that it's at another dubbing house. If we do get another season of Dragon Ball, we need to make sure it's at another dubbing house. I mean, it's about time we got some new voices anyways. It is way overdue for that. Also, High School DXD, we need to get everything pulled from Funimation because they are corrupt. They are even known as a house of snake, uh, a snake den, basically, just a house of snakes. And we need to be proactive as a community in uh, deplatforming them. And I know a lot of people have their feelings about deplatforming. But against corrupt individuals like that, I feel like it's justified. So, I mean, your perfect being perfection. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell for more content such as this. Also, if you're not too busy, support me on support me on PayPal, Patreon, uh, Streamlabs, whatever. If you're able to to support unbiased content, news, anime, gaming, and all that good stuff from your trusted source. And I will see you next time. Peace.